Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here. Today we're going to have a look at how to play Farik by the once upon a time Aussie teenagers silver chair. Uh, remarkable really that these guys were like 16, 17 years old when they released the album that this track stems from. And it was their second album at that. Uh, grunge, post-grunge, whatever you want to call them, they certainly kick some serious ass for a bunch of basically high school kids. Uh, really impressive. And this track, Freak, absolutely slays. Always been one of my favorite grunge era tracks from the 90s. Uh, regardless, sat down and figured this one out a couple of nights ago, so let's show you guys how to play it as well, yeah? Let's close in. Good then, let's have a walkthrough of Freak by Daniel Johns and Silverchair from 1995's Freak Show. We are in drop D tuning, of course, and uh, so take your low E string, tune it down one full step. Everything else, standard tuning. Now, this opening riff. We're going to be repeating that eight times at the beginning of this track. However, there is a little variation the first four times that you play through it. And we're going to get to that, but I want to show you rhythmically what we're doing here. Pretty easy stuff. Single finger power chords here. E power chord at the second fret. And we're just going off to an open D power chord, right? So we're striking that E power chord, going off to open D, back on twice, a little pause, gonna hit it three more times, and then back off to open three times. Something like that. Uh, it, it's all very staccato, right? You're really choking off these power chords with your right hand. Kind of like that, right? So like I said, you repeat that eight times at the beginning of the track, four times at the very beginning of the track, and then four more times with the first verse. However, the first four times you play this riff, you're adding this dissonant note here at the third fret of the G string. So you're basically barring the whole second fret, holding your pinky on the three. And then when the vocals come in, you drop that dissonant note and just play the power chords four times. During the first verse. Now, the second half of the first verse, the riff changes and it changes to this. So uh, we're just doing slides from three to four, power chord slides, starting with an open D. Gonna slide three into four, strike it again. Off to open twice, and then another slide. The second time you do a slide from three to four, you're gonna strike that power chord on the fourth fret three times. Right, then back off to open another slide open twice. <clears throat> now right in the middle of the riff we're going to do that. Slide from three to four quickly off to a palm muted open and then you're going to go four on to six and then back off to open into another slide. Three times. And then the very final time, you're just going to do a slide into uh, three into four and then strike it twice. And then we drop into this dissonant chord that he does, which leads into the pre-chorus. And this dissonant chord is holding the third fret of the low E, A, and D string with open G, open B, open E. Right? So that's the second verse riff.
strike that dissonant chord. And then we drop into the pre-chorus. Now the pre-chorus riff is very similar to the opening riff. Right, and you're gonna repeat that twice. It starts the same as the opening riff. And after you hit those two power chords there at the second fret, you're gonna go open, two, three. And then strike the three twice, right? And you repeat that twice. And then we're into the first chorus. Now, now each chorus is different. Uh, the first one is kind of mellow, and he's playing this. repeats four times. So we're barring the third fret, we're just going to ride down the, uh, the low E, A, and D string, and then back up to the A. Then we're going to drop our pinky on the fifth fret while still holding this bar, do the exact same thing. And then we're going to go off to open E, open A, still hold this uh, fifth fret of the D, and then we're going to descend this down to four, down to two, off to open D. alternating each one of those descending notes, 5, 4, 2, open, with the open E string. And then the final time you just uh, go open E, open D, catch maybe a bit of the A string on the upstroke that ring, just let it ring. And, uh, and then we drop back into the main opening riff. So that is the chorus, the first chorus. Four times. Back into the opening riff. this point we drop into the bridge. So the bridge is this. And then back into that dissonant chord again. So the bridge, fifth fret. Hit it a couple of times, back it up to two, off to open. So back onto two and then back off to open again, right? And then you're gonna slide into four and then just ride this four. And you're gonna repeat this four times. Fourth time, you drop into that and you just palm mute it and ride it lightly, right? And then you add a beat right in the middle. And then you go off to that dissonant chord again, right? So that's the bridge. However, there's little fill lines going on in the middle. Every time you come into this four, he's doing little overdubs, right? There's a little bend, a little half step bend here on the, on the uh, sixth fret of the G, kind of like that, right? But uh, you can play it while you're still playing the power chord. Just just grab it and with your pinky, right? Let them all ring together. Now the second time you go into that four, he grabs this kind of dissonant chord, drops his pinky on the five of the B, and just 
strums down the four middle strings. And then the third time, another little bend, right? And then the final time you go into that four, lightly chug it, give a beat right in the middle, and then the dissonant chord again. And then back into the pre-chorus riff. Four times. And then we're into the second chorus. So this is what he's playing during the second chorus. He's not doing this. Right? He uh, drops into a bar at the third fret and just lightly chugs it. I think like four times. Two, four, five. Five times. And then he grabs a couple of notes here on the uh, fifth fret of the D string. Hits those twice. And then just off to open. And then drops back in. And you repeat this uh, four times. Each time he drops back into this uh, bar at the third fret, he's going to do a, a little quick little down, up, down to kickstart it, right? Bada dum. into the solo. So that's the solo. All tremolo picked uh, 10 into 13 of the B using your index finger. And then you're going to slide it back to 10 and then grab the 11 of the G and you repeat that twice. Now this time you go into 12, slide it back to 10, and this time you go into 10, slide it back to 7. Right, so that's the solo. This time 12, this time 10, and then we drop into the third chorus. The third chorus is the same as the second chorus, but just much heavier. Four times. And then we drop back into the opening riff with the dissonant chords. And then you finally just drop right onto that dissonant chord bearing the second fret with that third fret of the G and then just strum down the, uh, the bottom four strings. Right? And that is it. That is how you play Freak by Silverchair. Certainly hope you found that helpful, enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind and helpful to the growth of my little channel. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.